What's up, people? Um, so the She-Hulk season finale just came out today, and um, watched it, and then I really thought about this whole series overall, and now I want to make a rant video about it, because, um, yeah, so just be aware that there are going to be if you're playing if you want to watch it because i know there are some people who stopped watching it which i can understand but if you don't want spoilers then don't watch this video because i'm going to have some pretty heavy spoilers in this so be warned but um anyway hey um so i haven't really done any videos on the disney plus marvel shows not that much but I would say overall I've enjoyed them all, actually. You know, WandaVision was really good. Falcon and Winter Soldier is actually my favorite. I actually think it's really underrated. And then Loki was one of the most thought-provoking things I've ever seen. <laughs> and um, What If was a lot of fun. And then Hawkeye, which I remember... I, haven't, I don't really remember it that well, but I do remember enjoying it a lot. And Moon Knight was so much better than I expected it to be. It's actually incredible. And Miss Marvel, um, it's not quite made for me, but I still had a fun time with it. it so all those shows I would gladly rewatch. Uh, but then we come to this. So I, I thought about making a video about talking about phase four of the MCU. Like, is has it been good or bad? And but there are countless videos on YouTube talking about this. How, how, well, most most will say they're it's bad and that they're gonna stop watching it. So, I guess my quick overview, like I just mentioned, my thoughts on, on the Disney Plus shows. I've liked Phase Four, just like, like I've enjoyed some of their stuff, and like Spider Man No Way Home is a freaking masterpiece. Well, not quite a masterpiece, but it's still amazing and. Shang-Chi was a lot of fun, but all the other movies have been either okay to below average for me. Yeah, so, so Phase 4 hasn't been great, but it's like none of them are bad. Like even Eternals, which I did not enjoy that much and has a lot of problems, I cannot say Eternals is a bad movie because I there are some things I respect about that movie, like how ambitious it is and like the, the characters and like well the characters are boring but like they have interesting stories that the movie clearly wants to tell and I respect that but it's just a bit of a mess but I wouldn't call that movie bad but in fact I wouldn't call any of the MCU movies bad I think they all have redeemable qualities even movies I don't like like Captain Marvel or Thor to Dark World I think have some redeemable qualities that make them at least worth watching but now we come here to she-hulk attorney at law which i can't believe i'm saying it but it is the first time in my life i'm ever calling an mcu movie or show bad that's i can't believe i've come to this point but here we are like um this show kind of sucked <laughs> and i want to rant about it a little well so I'll say the first seven episodes aren't are like below average where they're mostly just pretty boring. So you have, a, and you know, obviously Jennifer Walters gets her Hulk powers and uh, Bruce Banner is teaching her and she has a struggle between wanting to be a, a She-Hulk and also wanting to be the lawyer and the conflict there is, like, a good starting point. Like, like what I was saying with Eternals, it's a good starting point for this character. Like, okay, you could do an interesting story there, but that's not what this is. In fact, it was at episode four where that finally hit me, what's not working. This feels like a sitcom. Like, unlike WandaVision, which used the sitcom element to, like, tell its story and make it feel, like tell Wanda's story in a really interesting way here it's just a flat out sitcom it feels like where there is no overarching plot it's just kind of let's do this in this episode and let's do that in that episode and it's 
not that fun. And and then the whole, all the jokes too aren't that great either. Or like there are a couple I laughed at. Like pretty much whenever Wong is on screen, I'm like, eh, I kind of like that. Uh, but uh, yeah, most of the jokes are pretty um pathetic. Well, may, maybe pathetic so too harsh a word, but just not that funny. Hey, um, what else? And then, oh, and there's the, like the, it seems like the main plots that's in each episode. Like you have sh her going on dates with random guys and you have, um, the courtroom scenes. And, um, again, I'm watching all this and I'm just not that interested. And, and, uh, Oh, what else can I say about those first seven episodes? Just, oh, and also the fact that Daredevil showed up in the trailer and they keep teasing Daredevil, but then he doesn't show up. Like, why would you put Daredevil in the trailer if you're not going to show him until the end? Like, wouldn't it be a lot cooler if you saved him? Like, didn't reveal he would be in the show until the end? But yeah, speaking of that Daredevil episode, episode eight, is my favorite episode by default, but I'm not saying it's good. It's not. It's, it's, it's decent where it is cool. Like I've, I'm currently watching a daredevil series for the first time. Actually, I'm almost done through season two. Ooh, so just, it's, it's really good guys. Like seriously, if you haven't watched daredevil, you're missing out. And, um, so some, one of the fears that I heard about, was that Daredevil would be a lot lighter in this, like, because his series is, like, really dark, and, like, with an R rate, well, TV MA rating and all that, so they were afraid he'd be a lot lighter in this. He is. Like, he has, like, the Avengers quips, but it's, like, he still, for the most part, I think, at least, felt like the same character from that series. Although the thing where he has, where he sleeps with her at the end was a little odd, but, hey, he had those cool, he had that one fight scene in the hallway, and I actually smiled. Who would have thunk? I smiled at that. Like, it reminded me of how cool his fight scenes were in his own series. So, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Like, I liked this episode. It's not good, again, because it still has some issues. But I, I enjoyed it. Oh, something else that just popped into my head. Sorry, but, uh, yeah, the CGI, too. Like, everybody noticed it when that first trailer popped up that She-Hulk CGI sucks. And I hoped that it would at least look better in the final series, but it does not. It looks really bad. Like, there are a couple points where I was like, eh, maybe that's decent. But no, for the most part, it sucks. I almost feel bad for saying that, too. Because, you know, in the past few months, we have been getting, like, countless articles talking about the visual effects artists and how, how they, their rushed schedules and like the ridiculous deadlines Marvel is giving them. So I almost feel bad picking at them because you can tell they were not done with this. Like they needed more time to finish that, but nope, it's got to be on Disney plus on this specific day. And that's final. That's what I'm imagining. Marvel said, and, um, and yeah, uh, I, I noticed when I was in my Love and Thunder video that there were a lot of scenes in that movie that were like, oh, yeah, they're obviously in front of a green screen. Cr like, the CGI has just gotten really bad these past few couple years. But back to She-Hulk. So now we have head to the finale, which it was, of course, the reason why I wanted to make this video. Um, The finale was one of the... Like... If you saw, if I had a reaction video to this, to that episode, then my face would be flabbergasted. That's the best word I can use to describe that finale. I, I was in like d d shock of disbelief when I was seeing what I was seeing. <laughs> and like, like I mentioned, there's no overarching plot throughout the whole series. And it see, and they like throw in some like plot points in there. Like, oh, there's this company that's like trying to steal her blood and there's abomination who's like a, apparently a better person than he was and you have bruce banner up in sakaar doing whatever and you have all this and 
again, she hulks in the courtroom scenes. She's dating guys and she has this whole conflict about choosing her identity between Jen and she Hulk. Hulk, like this is a mess, man. And the show and the writers know that it's a mess. And it's like Jen even like talks to the camera, like screaming, wait, what's going on? And, and then, yeah, she breaks, like, I, I, I was okay with her breaking the fourth wall with, you know, look, talking to the audience, but this was overkill. Seeing her literally go come out of the Disney Plus like thing and then going into the real world, I think, and talking to that Kevin AI. And it, the show like lost me, man. Like again, I I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. Like the fl- the fact that the it re- like I saw somebody else on YouTube describe it like this, but it really feels like the writer is like wrote this show and they were throwing in all this stuff and they but by the time they got to the finale they realized wait a minute this whole thing we just made is a mess we have too much in here but instead of trying to fix that like rewrite the whole thing they were just like nah we'll just acknowledge that it's a mess and like this is like one of the most self-aware things like the Deadpool movies were less self-aware than this. Like, the Deadpool movies were self-aware, but at least there was still emotion in there. Like, his, like Wade's relationship with his girlfriend and all that. Like, there was some real emotion in those movies that made me feel, you know, even though they were self-aware and breaking the fourth wall. But here, it's like, no, we're just going to flat out admit that this is bad writing, and we're, and we're just going to have Jen control how the ending goes. And I just can't believe we got to this point, man. And, and yeah, uh, like I kind of like how self-aware this is, but it's like, I feel like they went a bit too far with this. Like they even like poking fun at the internet too with, Oh, every MCU thing has to end with a giant, like boss fight and in and and the climax and all that, and we're not doing it here. And um, that's like this show really lost me. I don't think I realized how much of a mess this show was until I saw this episode. Oh, I'm looking back on it now, and I'm like, yeah, this is kind of a mess. <laughs> yes. Um, and yeah, like I said earlier, I can't believe I'm saying this for anything MCU related, which. Before this, I want to call anything bad, but yeah, this is bad. This this sucks. <laughs> uh, this show like is is a mess, and it and it because it and like it it's aware that it's a mess, and it doesn't even try to fix that. Well, it tries to fix that, but it doesn't work. Like I can't believe what I'm seeing here. Here, just. What's crazy about this is that the Andor series from the Star Wars side is going right now. Episode 6 came out yesterday. And it's fantastic! I think Andor is really good. Uh, like, like Star Wars has always been, felt like a lesser thing with Mar- from Marvel in the past few years. Like, Marvel is superior. This is maybe, well, maybe the first time that Star Wars is actually superior to Marvel. And I can't believe I'm saying that. Uh, like D- Disney is actually doing that series better than Marvel. Oh, and um, like Andor is a smart show that has complex characters and really smart writing. And now I'm watching this, and I'm like, who cares? We're just gonna do whatever. Or and oh my gosh, I I, I can't believe I've I, we've gotten to this point, man. And like. And, and something else too. There's also that Werewolf by Night TV special as well. That was really good. Like that felt unique and felt like it, it like felt like there was an actual vision behind it. But this was just awful. I, and I can't, I, I can't believe I'm saying that. Am I done with the MCU? No. Like there are still some things I'm excited about. Like, Black Panther Wakanda Forever looks really cool. And um, 
the Guardians Holiday Special and Guardians 3. I'm excited for both of those, like especially after James Gunn's The Suicide Squad. Like he can basically do no wrong, it feels like. Like, but um But yeah, my excitement for the MCU is definitely it, it always was lesser before this, but this time it's lesser a little more. Just I can't believe we've gotten to this point. Like I like I've said uh, so yeah that's I, all i can think of like i'm i'm still excited for some mcu things like i'm not i'm I'm not quitting but my expectations are definitely lower so yeah that's my rant on the she hulk series and yeah that, that that'll be it peace